welcome back to a new vlog a vlog of my life right now and what i'm doing um i want to share a few habits practices rituals um eco-friendly activities that i have implemented and i feel really passionate about in this time i am feeling such a strong desire to connect to the earth and nature and my roots through my own body and through being in actual connection with my body and with nature by the way my hair is growing so fast it's crazy like i'm already having a long bob i'm actually really digging this by the way let's go into the superficial talk um i think i'm growing my hair so now you all know <laughs> i just have a few errands to do and um a few work things to do so i'm going to take care of that right now and i'll see you um well actually i'm going to take you on my errands because i'm gonna go get some groceries and i'm gonna go to this um like bulk store here and maybe also to like a little farmer's market depending on if i find everything at the bulk store or not um yeah i've really been trying to like support small businesses and local businesses and I went decided to go on this hike on this big hike today and we didn't know what we were really getting ourselves into it seems like when the apps say that the hike is hard it's actually really hard and there's some scrambling and climbing involved and cliffs and hiking up gorges and it was really intense but we made it to the top at one point we were getting lost and we met these two men and they helped us find our way and yeah, it's just it's a big of an adventure but the view up here is so worth it. Sunday I was out all day yesterday with that hike and feeling really tired and tender today so just um, enjoying being home and taking it extra slow one thing that I really love to do is gardening how oh, Kayla's back hi Kayla I'm gonna have lunch now with Kayla but um I wanted to pick out some zucchini from this massive plant that I planted like a month ago and it became so big already it's really crazy to see how fast it's grown like some things have grown not so fast and some things really fast like this one so I'm picking some zucchini star already or removing whichever didn't make it alive
feeling really exhausted. I felt really exhausted yesterday as well from I think the hike on Saturday and just like a lot of changes and movements in my life right now. Um, and I've been going through these waves. So I'm really trying to be kind to myself, doing my best at being kind to myself and really allowing myself to be in these waves that we, I personally can't predict um, that much. Uh, I've noticed how recently I've been uh, so in sync with the moon and my moon and I'd love to make a video about that. Um, so interesting. Let me come closer to you. Today I have a therapy session at 1 and it's 11 right now so I'm going to do about an hour of emails which I've been um, pushing away for quite a bit. So I'm going to do some emails right now and then I have to eat a proper meal before my therapy. Um, yeah, and then I think I'll want to do more gardening this afternoon, so I'll take you guys along for, for that. Okay, so I had my therapy session. <sighs> it was good. I'm doing this body psychotherapy and it allows for a lot of sadness, a lot of shame, a lot of fear to come up and being felt and sensed through the body. So through it, I've actually gained a much deeper connection to my body and really able to feel emotions in different parts of my body and how they manifest physically um so it's really amazing and supportive and yeah it always kind of knocks me out for a bit i'm always a little bit tired or just processing and integrating whatever has been felt um but i'm coming out of it now and um I'm gonna start packing for my trip tomorrow. Before that, I wanted to say a huge thank you to Organic Basics for sponsoring this vlog. I have been wearing pieces from Organic Basics over the last few days. I wear Organic Basics pretty much every single day of my life, whether it's a pair of underwear, a pair of socks, this ripped tank top um, from their Organic Cotton collection. Um, all of the active wear, like the shorts that I was wearing on my hike. I really wear organic basics all the time. Actually, those um, jeans are also from organic basics. And um, this month they're having a Earth Optimism campaign, which is so exciting because with sustainability, I, I love this approach of really like seeing what we're doing great for the planet and encouraging each other in that and also having compassion for ourselves when we're not showing them in the most perfect way. I want to share like the parts of my life where I, I'm very proud of how I'm showing up in terms of my environmental impact and 
um, you know, shopping at the organic local bulk store, shopping from organic farms, uh, wearing clothes that have made, been made sustainably and ethically, growing my own veggie garden. Organic Basics is part of the B Corp certification which ensures uh, traceability and transparency on their practices and they're also part of the 1% for the planet, which means that 1% of their profit goes to nonprofit organizations that um, care to create a healthier earth. I've been so impressed and admiring on how Organic Basics has been showing up over the years. I still remember wearing their first white tee back in 2018, which is now four years ago, and just seeing how the pieces that I've had from them over the years have just perfectly lasted and they're just so freaking durable. Not only they're created in a sustainable and ethical way, but the pieces actually last. Yeah, I've just been so impressed by even after multiple washes and years of wear, the quality just remains and yeah, I think that's just so special and it's such a big part of sustainability is to consume less and we can consume less, start to consume less by owning pieces that actually last and that are actually durable. If you are looking for any basics, any closet essentials, anything that you'd want to upgrade in your wardrobe or replace, I have a discount code for you in the description. This code offers you a 10% off your order on all of the Organic Basics website. And yeah, let me know in the comments what are some of the rituals and practices that you've been doing in order to be more eco-friendly. It can be small things, it can be bigger things. It's not a competition um yeah sustainability is not a race it's not about perfectionism it's really about putting one step in front of the other and really encouraging ourselves and others to grow in that sense and yeah i'd love to hear how you're implementing it into your life and also maybe which areas you feel like you'd like to improve or show up differently uh, for me, one big area of growth in terms of sustainability is flying. Uh, I'll be flying for my trip tomorrow and I would like to reduce the amount of flying I do in a year and in general in my life and I know that this is something that um, will come moving forward um, and also having compassion for myself for where I'm at in this phase, in this chapter and just... Um, yeah, being compassionate and loving to myself that this phase requires some flying for me and it's not ideal, but I get to choose moving forward if I want that to remain so present in my life or not. And um, yeah, um, okay, let's get to some packing. So right now what I just did is that I put some food scraps like vegetables and fruit um, into the chicken coop um, because then the chickens they just eat any scraps which is really good for them and then the, we also feed them like some other like seeds and grains and like a mix for chickens and what's really cool is that they're this like whole thing there is basically just a composting system with them so um, we lay our food scraps and then we can put hay and then it just the chickens they go in there they poop in there they eat in there and then we use the compost for the garden so it's actually a full like circle 
circular loop. And then the eggshells also always go back to the chickens because they do eat them for their calcium. Yeah, we have four chickens and one rooster. And it's been a beautiful experience to, to get to know them and to feed them and take care of them. Just brings us closer back to nature. And um, this is their coop, but um, they are also allowed to go into the garden. I haven't let them yet because I've been growing vegetables and I, I have to keep an eye on them if I let them out because otherwise they'll like completely destroy everything that I've just started to plant. Um, but yeah, the plan is to actually let them free roam every now and then in the garden, in other areas of the garden. Um, yeah, but just under surveillance because they can have the tendency to just eat up everything. Now I'm just gonna be um, cleaning up one of the patches. Um, there is already, there was already some tomatoes here that got removed. There's one more tomato plant that's still producing a little bit, so I'm leaving it a little longer. But otherwise in this patch there is some potatoes and I've planted some carrots, but I think the soil here is not sandy enough for carrots. So I'm gonna plant some cabbage, some purple cauliflower, and also some lettuces. Um, there's a few of them that didn't sprout, but I'm gonna plant what I have. There we go, planted some cabbage and cauliflower and lettuce and this is the arugula which is doing so well and over here we've got some baby tiny carrots um, you can see they're growing over there, all of these this is all potato and this is some like timeless spinach that keeps growing and growing and growing which is a little sour over here is our amazing zucchini which is thriving I think I can harvest this one green onions some basil still and over here there is some spinach and some tiny beetroot that is right there. The zucchini here. I think the soil here is a little bit more slow. Um, and this is a big pumpkin. And here there's still some tomatoes which will be removed probably on my way back. Because it's out of season now. Oh, I think there's a tomato there that's good too be taken over here we've been having some butternut i'm just waiting for them to grow but there's one cute tiny one here and there's a bigger one over here and there's still some cherry tomatoes over here and yeah that's about it i'm gonna go have dinner now my housemate kayla has been making dinner for us right now which i'm really grateful and then we're going to yin yoga i want to thank you all for spending these last few days with me and 
for being so supportive and loving and yeah i'm just so grateful and also big thank you to organic basics again for sponsoring this video and working with me on this this jumper is also from them by the way it's one of their recycled cashmere one and they've been my go-to on the colder days because cape town is getting into fall right now the code and link and everything will be down in the description and if you have any questions let me know regarding sizing or yeah anything or regarding something else in the video as well and i'll see you all next week bye oh, i gotta go clean my hands <laughs>